What is up people this is why such and in this video I'll be talking about PCF8574 now this is an 8-bit IO expander which works on I square C so this was sent to me by highlight go and it looks kind of like this if we look at its specs it is designed to work between 2.5 volts to 6 volts VCC and it has eight output channels and as it works on I squared C it needs four inputs one is for the ground other one is for VCC and the other two are SCL and SDA for the I squared C communication and if you look at its features it has a low standby current of 10 microamperes an open drain interrupt output compatible with most microcontrollers last output with high current drive capability for diety driving LEDs that I'll show you and latch performance exceeds 100 milliamps so like there are two versions of this one is the PCF8574 and the other one is PCF8575 they work on different voltages and such but since I have the 8574 on hand I'll talk about it now let's take a look at the PCB first so this is how it is let's just zoom into this okay so over here the left side of this it has the inputs for VCC ground SDA and SCL and the right side of this has the outputs as well VCC ground SDA and SCL now these both line up perfectly and if you have extra boards like this you could easily daisy chain them into having extra expansion ports now you can daisy chain eight of these limitation of the channel if you look at the middle part this one it has three yellow connectors now these can move into uh, configurations it would either be the middle and the left peg or the middle and the right peg that will help you select the channel as it has three and hence there are eight possible configurations and hence the chaining of eight now the top of it it has nine pins one is INIT and the other eight are IO ports and this sums up this board now you will be connecting it to the raspberry pi as such just run this command there is i to c detect minus y one one means the channel and if you are using raspberry pi two or above you would use one else you would use zero and just hit enter and they should show you the correct I squared C channel that uh, the board is connected or using for me it's 38 and hence in the code that I write I'll be using 38 so if I just open up my sample code I would import SM bus which is for controlling the I squared C ports then time just for a delay which I which I am not using in this code then I would just give a variable its address and the address was 38 as you saw and hence we give it 38 then b equal to smbus dot smbus bracket 1 over here 1 is for, for the bus channel that I already explained under it it's a while true loop which means it's an infinite loop b dot write byte pcf965 that's the channel and 0xf0 this 0xf0 is the hexadecimal address or two hexadecimal addresses for four of the eight ports like four ports would use f and the other four would use 0 that almost sums up this code like it would set this value to that I squared C channel now if you look at this table 0000, 0, 0 means 0 and 1111 means f and all the other values they would be in the in the middle so if you were to start or if you want to turn on any of these specific channels just use this table and use that hexadecimal value or that value and send it to the controller and that would set those pins on and the others would be turned off that was the output now if you look at the input then it's it's almost the same command except that we set everything to FFFF which I, uh, which I forgot up over here let me just add it okay so what this FF will do it would convert 
the output port into an input port and hence you can easily call it as while one pins equal to b dot read byte and read byte it would read the data from the i squared c channel and percentage zero two x and percentage pins so what this would do is it would just get the value from the pins and turn it into two hexadecimal values and just print it off so that's for the input and outputs now in this next part i'll be sh showing you how it works For the input example, I would just be working with one channel and hence this is the first thing. I set them all to zero. This is the output. Next, I'm setting it to one and this is the output two, four and eight. Those would be the individual values and these others can come in the middle. Same goes for the input. Now, if you look at this example, I set this configuration to take an input and hence when I power the pin, it would show up on the printed lines as such. I would like to thank Highlight Go for providing me with this board and do check the links in the description. It has all the details to where to buy them and how to buy them. So please go buy these and make some cool shit. So thank you for watching this video. Like this video, dislike it. Subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time. Ta-da!